This is The Filter on iHeart Podcasts Canada. We're hanging out in the iHeart Radio Canada studio and we just wrapped up that interview with Sophie Tucker. Jess, how fun were they? They are so much fun and I'm so excited to see them for the first time. I don't believe you haven't seen them. I know. I've seen so many shows yeah. and I have never made it to one, so I'm excited. Well, I saw them uh, because you were busy hard at work <laughs> last year at Oshiega in Montreal and they were so fun. Their show is just a vibe. They yeah. they have like a playground on stage and I'm so glad that they've kept that for this new tour, the Bread Tour. Yeah, I saw it on the screen while we were at Oshiega and it looked like a party. I was sad that I was missing out. They are just so fun. I mean, they, they certainly know how to get the crowd just involved in dancing. I, I'm sure that like half the people weren't familiar with their music, but by the end of it, Everyone was loving it. I'm sure that's going to be the same at this next show. You're going in, yeah. in Toronto. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow night. I'm excited to see them. Yeah. And speaking of parties, they also talked in the interview to you about being at Heidi Klum's Halloween party last year. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, for those that don't know, Sophie Tucker are actually friends with Heidi Klum. Uh, they got her in one of her, um, in their most recent music videos and... Yeah, they went to her Halloween party to DJ last year. They were invited again this year, but they couldn't make it. Yeah. I'll go instead. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to get on that list seems tough. Yeah, but we talked about Halloween. Uh, We uh, we asked if they dress up as each other. Uh, We also talked about White Lotus because in their DJ mixes and some of their live sets, they often use the theme song and they do a remix of that. Obviously, the new season three is coming out very soon. They they revealed that they know someone that's in the show. I can't wait to find out who that is. I know. They're just so fun. They also highlighted some of their favorite TV show theme songs as well. And one in particular that everyone is loving right now from Megan Trainer. Yes, uh, if you've that seen damn that. criminal dance. Yeah. Everyone is doing it. The Perfect Couple. <laughs> uh, that show with Nicole Kidman on Netflix. They're into that. Um, and yeah, they just uh, went over the new album, Bread, which is just a vibe. They they do a meet and eat at this new tour as well. And they even said that you look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. They did, so. but I don't know if we got that at the end, but yeah. Well, it still counts. But they did, and thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> You're welcome. Because I do, I really do. Uh, <laughs> but here it is, the interview with Sophie Tucker and iHeartRadio. Enjoy. Sophie Tucker, hey, how are you? Great, how we're are great. you? Yeah, good, good. Sorry, did I come in too high there? Was I, should I, was it more of a hey? No, hey, we're great! <laughs> we, we literally, like, we got off of a tour bus last no, night, so we're like, oh. Yeah, I'll let you off. Yeah, two sold-out shows in Montreal, and then you got two more in Toronto this week. How's yeah. it feel? How's the bread tour going? It's been incredible. Yeah. Like, every single show, there's been no duds. Every show has been wild. It's great. Uh, no complaints. Yeah. 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 Do you have a favorite crowd so far? Ooh, I would say first night in Montreal or mm. second night in Boston Ooh. or DC. Okay. Ooh, good choices. I can't <laughs> choose between them. I saw that New York uh, show at uh, Forest and Forest, Forest Hills. Forest, I Forest Hill. Yeah, yeah, it looks so good. Didn't even yeah. mention that one. Yeah, yeah, they've all been really awesome. Yeah, amazing. Well, congrats on everything with the with the album. We're manifesting that Grammy nomination. Manifest away <laughs> or manifest. vote if you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> better than manifesting. And not just for the album Bread. There's a remix as well that you've put forward for consideration as well. Is it uh, the yes. John ba- John Baptiste remix? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, what a talented guy. Yeah, but you're so talented as well. So let's talk about you. <laughs> um, He's really talented. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are we are thrown some ass on the virgin radio residency all this month you guys been taking over on my show every friday it's been so so cool like such a pleasure to have you guys on the show for an hour every friday um the mix is just incredible thanks for finding the time to do it alongside the tour and everything else that you've got going of course i was in the hotel rooms and the bus just you know trying to trying to get it done for you yeah yeah, thank you we did it well i've been throwing some ass so it's working (laughs) good (laughs) is the throwing ass working for all your ailments it really is i'm training for uh i've got a a marathon this sunday at chicago oh that's perfect yeah so it's throwing ass is important and not only that the carb loading with all the bread (laughs) perfect oh you're welcome (laughs) this came at a really good time it's the blueprint (laughs) yeah yeah Um, is there a favorite song you've got right now on the album to perform live does it change every week I feel like it changes every night for me, but Throw Some Ass has been really fun. Yeah. Especially because um, we get we have the whole audience turn around and we just watch their asses. <laughs> yeah, and it's a, fun a show skit. for us. There's it's a little hilarious. Skit before that one that we do that's really funny and different every time. And then I would say Perfect Someone also is uh, is the last song on our album, Bread. I love it. And it's so good. It, we create like a little jazz club on stage it's sort of in the middle of like a really 
banging, laser-filled, crazy show, we create this little moment of a jazz club. Yeah. And it, it's a really cool dynamic, I think. I love the kind of breakdown in that song as well. You're just, I'm waiting for your voice to come in. So is it like... Right when yeah. <laughs> Does the crowd go crazy when you start singing? Oh, yeah. I got my in-ears in. I can't really tell. No, the crowd goes <laughs> crazy, but also... I'm usually too nervous to think about the crowd at that yeah. point. The setup is so good because we have this long choreography where like one of the dancers comes and kind of does like a ballroom dance thing with Tucker and then they have this mo and then he they do a turn and then all of a sudden Tucker's like in the middle of the podium and there's a spotlight on him. So oh, it's, it's like a just, movie. It's a there's a moment. It's a little yeah. theatrical. Yeah, there's a moment. I, I never thought that. I'd be hitting the musical theater, but <laughs> <laughs> here we are. For a quick moment there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little musical theater. I remember like uh, when we saw you guys in Montreal last year at Oshiega or Oshiaga. We're still not sure. Uh, we really should. No one we should know, know by now. <laughs> um, you had the whole playground vibe on stage. I think that was one of like that summer was the first summer that you guys were doing that. Is that still yeah. incorporated into the tour as well? Yeah, that's, that's like incorporated as the the sh- we built the bread show around that. So we still have a couple of the pieces from that show. Cool, but because um, we only toured that at Coachella, Oshiega, Oshiaga, <laughs> and maybe. Lollapalooza. Those are the only places yeah. we ever played that show. Yeah, but the the, the bread show is really fun. It's nice. really really fun. Yeah, it's yeah. really taking the playground to another universe that you would not expect the playground yeah, yeah. to go to. Climbing frame made out of bread. Yeah, <laughs> a bread world. A bread world. <laughs> you will expect it. I, don't know. I love that. I love that. When you were coming up with the concepts for the visuals, the album, the stage show. Is one of you more hands-on than the other? Or you both have exactly the same input? Do you sketch things out before? Like, who's in charge? It's really a like a we're backboards for each other. Yeah. So it was just flinging back and forth. We came up with that idea on the ground in a hotel in Sao Paulo a couple weeks before the video shoot and the album cover shoot. We had a totally different concept. In our stomachs, we felt like it wasn't perfect yet. Bread was a song on the album already. And we felt like it was such an interesting title and a fun, simple, but weird thing. And then we were like, maybe the whole album should be called Bread. And then we just started, boom, 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 boom. And it was like pinball of ideas. And it was like, Sophie was like, oh, I can have a dress made out of bread. And we can like, oh my gosh, we can make an acronym. Oh my gosh, we could do all these bread puns. Oh my gosh. You know, there was so many things that worked with it. And we were like, wow, bread is energy. And if people gather around a table to break bread together, we want the music to bring people together and give you energy. We were like, damn, this works. And then and we're like, just, oh my God, we can do meat and eats. Yeah. Instead of meat and greens. Meat and eats. And, and those that. have been one of the funnest things that we What's do. What's meat and eat? A meat and eat is, is basically a meat and greet, but it's it's actually really different. because It's not at all. It's not greet. at all because we basically gather around a table okay. and we have lots of carbohydrates it's on the table. It's a beautiful table dressed yeah, with, in with candles. tons of different breads, some fake, some real to eat. Candle. It's so beautiful. Yeah, and, and then we, we basically and meet you. everybody oh at the table. Everyone goes around and talks. But Sounds I don't like know. A dream. You know, like there's that like one conversation table com- vibe, mm-hmm. which is basically what we do. So it's like a family. Yeah, instead of it being a one-on-one thing also, it's really nice to be in a group of people yeah. where everyone is hearing from everyone else because then people become friends with each other and then we're all sitting around the table and then we're playing games and we're laughing. And I'm like, this just feels yeah. lovely. It's like Thanksgiving <laughs> meal yeah. without the food part plus bread every day. Bread every day, all day. It's love awesome. that. It's a freak fam feast. It's yep. a freak fam feast. I love that. Uh, how are the freak fam doing? Are they, are they loving the show? Are they loving the vibe? Yeah, they're feasting. They're, they're devouring. <laughs> it, it's been really funny. Like people have been dressing up as bread. Yeah, all sorts of bread, or like bringing baguettes to wave around. Are they recreating the look from the video? Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah. that it's Fully quite like incredible DIY version. Also, Some Halloween really is good. coming up, and I just can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I need to see. I need to see bread gowns. Yeah. Are you going to be dressing up? Are you playing on Halloween? Do you know? Have you got show that? You've got must have shows that no, week. No, but we we've talked we're about between what San Francisco and L.A. I think or Seattle and we're not LA. playing that night though. Okay. I mean, not yet. We'll see. <laughs> we were going to play at Heidi Klum's Halloween party in New York. That was my next question. But because yeah. we're on the West Coast, 
we decided it would just kind of be a little painful. <laughs> Next year, hopefully, we'll be back to yeah. that. Yeah, for those that don't know, you're obviously friends with Heidi Klum, and yeah. you had her in the music video as well. Yeah, and, and we were supposed to do it this year. It's just a real spectacle. Oh, it's, it's a shame that we're not doing it. I keep being like, should we just go ahead and fly? The funniest thing about it, though, is everyone's costumes are so good that, like, in theory, it would be the best people watching ever because you'd be like, oh my God, there's that actress. Oh my God, there's that actor. There's this person. But you don't recognize anyone. You don't know who anyone is. Literally. And that's probably why it's so fun. Yeah. But also you're like, damn, I was just dancing next to, you know, yeah. the craziest person. And I actually did not know until the next day when I looked at like the roundup online of who was there. And I was like, oh, that's who that yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah. No way. What did you dress up as? Did you? We were Sunny and Cher. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't funny. like, it, we didn't go so far outside of ourselves that no one would know who we are. Yeah. <laughs> no, it might we look like ourselves. different. Yeah, I guess yours was significantly different, but uh, you're 6'7". Right. Like, it's not like you can hide. <laughs> no, I'm not you saying are. you couldn't tell as me, but like, it was a pretty good, we had a, a hairstylist come and like cut the wig to be like a perfect sunny Wig. The mustache was uh, the great. The mustache was hilarious. Yeah. It was actually pretty good. I love it. Have you ever dressed up as each other? Yes, actually, we yeah, have. We did. <laughs> when we, we did were it live during the streaming pandemic. In the pandemic. Oh, I think I saw that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did funny. see that. And I think you revealed that his celebrity crush is Dua Lipa. Oh, did I? Yeah. That probably is still it? true. Yeah, I like Dua Lipa. <laughs> I like Dua Lipa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not my... Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I'd love to meet yeah. Julie, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we can make it happen. She's beautiful. Yeah. Um, Great music. I love in the in the mix <laughs> that you did, the first one last week, um, you had the, the, you still had the White Lotus theme remix in there. Yeah. So good. Are you excited for season three? First, oh my so God, we're so excited. excited. Also, yeah. one of our friends is in it, and I cannot wait to see no what way. character she excited. is. Yeah. Are they filming it in... It's, I think it's in Thailand, isn't yeah, it? Thailand. Yeah, And she won't tell us a damn thing. She oh, takes really? that NDA very seriously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they're done filming, like, it's coming out yeah, soon. Yeah, it must I'm, be soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any other favorite TV theme songs that you would like to remix? Ooh. The Succession one goes off. The Succession one goes off. I feel like there were remixes of that one. Yeah. Uh, Although we were making a song the other day and we are like, this is kind of Succession-y in a good way. I feel like a House of the Dragons one would be good. I'm trying to think. Oh, <laughs> you know what's hilarious? Uh, uh, the Nicole Kidman show. Criminal, oh, and it has the Megan Trainer, the Megan Trainer song in the beginning. I don't know it. I, it pops off. Yeah, it's called criminal because criminals. they do a dance. It's like a Bollywood dance in yeah. the intro of the show, like yeah. the whole wedding. And it's it's hilarious. But the song is a Megan Trainer song. Yeah, and it's so catchy. And every time I hear it, I just start wanting to do the dance. Same. <laughs> I'm getting married next year. I think I might do it at my you wedding. Oh my god, that's Dang. so fun. Yeah. I need to watch this show. Criminal. Yeah, maybe you've been Criminal. skipping. Well, I think for those. That haven't seen it you're obviously skipping the intro no the, never on that never. song i didn't skip it once yeah i watched every episode watched the full thing because yeah. i was trying to learn it it's a banger yeah it took me like three episodes to realize it was megan trainer yeah i actually didn't know for a while yeah either. yeah it's good it's just a banger i need to see you it's do funny. this dance you'll be really surprised when you hear the song but i love it <laughs> <laughs> there you go now you know what you're gonna do after this <laughs> yeah well thank you so much for hanging out sophie tucker um all the best for the rest of the tour the bread tour and congrats on the new album it's so good and thanks for doing the virgin radio residency of course thank I'm happy you to do it thanks for having us awesome thank you thanks for listening to the filter and iheart podcast canada production subscribe to the filter wherever you get your podcasts 